Your trading stock are options. You need an objective way to make a price projection over a certain period of time. And Option Master Charters has a few tools to help you do that. Uh, one is the uh, daily chart, the Ichimoku Cloud itself. And if you're not familiar with Ichimoku Cloud, uh, this is not a moving average chart. This is a range chart. And we'll zoom in on some of the features here. But this maroon colored line is the range, the high-low range over the past 26 days. And this light blue line is the high-low range over the past nine days. And it's not always obvious looking at this chart because the candles are hike and ashy candles, which use two days of data, but a much easier, much more simple uh, to interpret. But one thing you want to look at when uh, viewing the Ichimoku daily chart is when the range lines are pointing up particularly when both the 9 day and the 26 day are heading up then it's likely the range will expand and conversely when they're heading down it's likely that the range will expand downward and when they're going sideways the range is probably going to stay pretty much the same for the next uh, several days if not weeks. So we can see for the SPY that the 9 day range is expanding or heading hard up so it would not be unreasonable to expect an expansion of the upper end of the range and that just gives you a flavor as to the possible or probable direction uh, of the stock over the next several days or, or few weeks but you can get specific measures of uh, price projections by using a few different measures one is historical volatility which is down here on the uh, lower right hand corner of the chart and the historical volatility chart uh, measures historical volatility for the most recent 26 day period and if you click on the chart you get an historical volatility distribution and we can see that the current HV for the SPY is 10.1 percent it's at the low end of the range but that's also the fat part of the distribution so we can see that it's normally say probably between uh, close to 10 and maybe uh, as high as 14 is the normal range and when it gets much higher than that it's unusual or much below uh, it's unusual so it's in the fat part of the distribution now what can you do with historical volatility uh, if we go over to the left side of the chart we use the historical volatility measure to compute a upper and lower range over 5 days, 20 days, and uh, 40 days. And using the historical volatility calculation, uh, we can see that over the next, say, 20 days, that the upper band for the SPY is about 217 and the lower is about 207. And that would be a, a normal distribution based on the current historical volatility and flipping back to the right side you'll see a number in a uh, either a green or a red oval with a number in it and that's the historical volatility percentile if the number is green then using reversion to the mean as the basis we would expect historical volatility to increase uh, toward the toward the mean if the background is red, the number is going to be over 50. We would expect historical volatility to contract to the mean. But that's one method of determining uh, a price projection over a given period of time. Now, this method uses only the stock price. The next method we're going to show you uh, uses the option market information to make projections. We've pulled up the CBOE option chain for the SPY and we're going to use the option data to get price projections 
And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the calculators just to look at the Friday expirations because we want to pick the regular option expiration cycle which is always the third Friday of the month. And for June it's on the 24th uh, about 17 days away. So we'll use that one. So we'll scroll down to 17 days to expiration or 16 days remaining after today and we're going to do an IV approximation and to do that we're going to use the current stock price and we're going to find the at the money call and put. Okay the stock is trading at 212 so we want to look at the option that's as close to 212 as we can get and here's 212 right here and we're going to input the mid price of the 212 call and the mid price of the 212 put we're going to drag and drop the number of days to expiration and calculate and we get an implied volatility approximation of about nine and a half and when you do the approximation you also get a market makers move and what that means is it's a plus minus number that based on the volatility uh, right now the, the uh, implied volatility right now it's a reasonable expectation that SPY 16 days from now will be plus or minus about four and a quarter points from its current price. If you were interested in a specific uh, option cycle you can do the same thing. If you were interested say in 37 days out uh, you could do the same kind of calculation and we'll look at the 212 option here. The mid price is 261 and the mid price of the put is 355 and we'll drag and drop the days to expiration 37 hit calculate and the market makers move for that period is about 6.18 plus or minus so that's one way that you can do this calculation now if you wanted to find out what the probability of price being at any uh, particular level in the future then you would use the probability of price calculator and what you want to input here is the current stock price which is 212.04 and the current volatility which is about 9.1 or 9.15 we'll use uh, we'll increment in one point. Uh, well, we'll increment in one point, and the lowest stock price we want to start from is, say, the low end of the range, about 205. We'll go, and you click calculate, and you get the chart. The left-hand chart is the probability above a certain price, and the right-hand side is the probability below a certain price. So let's say that you want to find out what's the probability that the SPY will be below 214 uh, for this is what July 15th is the expiration cycle on July 15th. Well you look at 214 you slide up to here and we can see that the probability that the SPY will be above 214 in mid-July is about 46% the probability that the SPY will be above 209 on the same date is about 56 percent and you can just slide up and down these columns to get the estimates of the probability based entirely on the current option prices. Now implied volatility is a strange animal it helps determine the option prices but it's also determined by option prices so when market makers anticipate 
a greater than normal move uh, in the underlying stock, they'll raise the bid, uh, you know, raise the asking prices, raise the bid prices, and that will bump up the implied volatility without any change in the stock price. And conversely, when they're not expecting dramatic movements, they can lower uh, the implied volatility by lowering the bids. So it's a fluid number and the probabilities work uh, with the implied volatility calculations for the moment in time or period of the day that you get them in. They don't change dramatically usually unless the market's moving very very fast but this is an excellent way to get an objective measure of the probability of a price move for any underlying that trades liquid options and this works the best as with everything related to options with an option chain that has liquidity. If there's no liquidity it's very difficult to determine what a proper mid price is and it's very difficult to make projections. I uh, hope you found this useful.